to, to worry about that. We need to worry about Nico and Master Mario playing on stream once more for probably the 15th time in a row. <laughs> Indeed, Nico is uh, pretty accustomed to finding these Marios for sure. That's kind of been his, his swan song. Not even the swan song. It's been his life story coming out from the A1A region between Zenyu, Master Mario, Gohan. At one point, Silent Rain no longer here with us in moving areas. Let's get into a Master Mario with great back guys, putting Nico at the ledge of the fireball for good measure. That was a very interesting choice from Nico using that tech roll in uh, out of the platform because that gave Master Mario plenty of time to react and he had no space to go. I think it was bagging on him trying to commit to the long range uh, tech away, but that didn't quite happen unfortunately. But he still got the reversal going on and Smash Art, wow, he just gets obliterated into the blast zone right there. Yeah, at that situation, Master Mario was pretty much nowhere left, nowhere to go but into Smash Nico with a fourth throw. I do like that every time he goes for the fourth throw, he's already setting up these aerials. Either he's going to go for an empty hop, a short hop, a full hop. We'll see what he goes for. And immediately, Master Mario just trying to go ahead and put in space and that forward smash to no avail. Yeah. Nico always, whenever he plays, he does a very good job. Okay, that down air is going to be able to take out Jump Art, Shulk. But as I was saying, one of the best things he's able to do is be able to control space with the sword. And I don't mean just like whiff and make sure that like you have good proper spacing. I mean knowing that once his opponent actually picks an option at the ledge, he picks a good option to be able to cover it, either landing there from full hop mm -hmm. or just doing empty hop, anything like that. Just because he's able to utilize Shulk's uh, range despite the frame data, he does an amazing job of keeping up control. All right, Nico with more back airs. I do like how he's trying to force situations there for Master Mario. He spaces himself so well so he can see how Master Mario is going to react to coming back in. Sets up that forward air. I see your commitment. I raise the forward air here. Take the stock. Let's go ahead and bring me the next one here. Unfortunately for Master Mario, he tried to directional air dodge away just mm -hmm. so that he could push himself away from the blast zone. But that left him susceptible to the end lag of it. And Nico was able to get that fair. Very nice stuff. Flying with a neutral air, immediately leading up into that dash tech. Those combo percents can be really different depending on the Minato art, so he's really able to use that with no art active here. And again, swinging the sword, but Master Mario strikes back, sending him to the corner. Why did that grab so hard? He was feeling it there, but unfortunately missing the mark. All right, that time around, Master Mario, one of the difficult things about fighting uh, shield art Shulk mm -hmm. when he has it in stock is that it'll d disrupt your combo. Mm -hmm. But if you can get back into the fray very quickly and be able to get your next combo, he's not going to have it available. So you can follow up on another combo and yeah. be able to potentially get the stock. There we go. Goes for that forward smash. Actually takes him across the stage, too. And at that situation, right, that's what Master Mario wants to do is see when the... Oh, never mind, man. Uh, see when the fair <laughs> hits, I was hits like, his oh, face uh, and yo. obliterates the stock <laughs> at, once more. At, at that point, man, that's all he was going to see. <laughs> it was the fair end of the face, the next game coming at him. But we talked about how the shield not works, right? Active for six seconds with a cooldown of 18 seconds. The damage you do take is multiplied uh, less. So you, you will take about 0.5% of damage at all time as it came to being regular. So that's pretty interesting here for the properties. The, de the damage you actually deal for Monado Art is also lessened as well as the knockback as well as the jump height a little bit less as well so that's kind of one of those things you got to worry about when you use uh shield art mm -hmm. starting off with, with more forward airs into the follow-ups here he's able to use those low percents to get the combos going right away and master mario striking back with more back airs unsafe shielding there oh i don't think he's gonna follow up okay there we go uses the direction air dodge just keeps himself away from nico at the right time I like when uh, Nico immediately went into the shield art after the up throw. He decided to do a little fast fall after the there, just so he could follow up with a landing back air afterwards and still get the follow up. And we really see him go harken back to that game play style you talked about, right? Controlling space with the sword. We see it there at the ledge because he's able to use it to great tool set there. Ma maximizing the spacing of the forward air, making sure he's getting Master Mark to very clip the ledge here. But Master Mark strikes back with a couple of here, gets that sweet spot up. He's not going to kill Nico though. He's still alive. I do like the fact that Nico's very well aware of his landing back on the stage and Master Mario with these safely, closely spaced back airs. Yep. That situation right there, Master Mario recognized he had the better out of shield option when both their backs are facing each other. Shulks is back here. While good, it does take a little bit of time to come out, so Master Mario doesn't beat him out there, but still, the damage output coming from the Buster Art, putting him off stage one more time into the air slash. Great tech, though. Keeping up the survivability and almost had it with the grab, just didn't get the turnaround. And he's going to be able to get that reversal with the back throw with the Smash Art available, too. Yeah, and the Smash Art really being a double edged sword as it is. Able to get that kill throw for Master Mario. Master Mario gets the cross up with the Nutria into the down throw. I like these combos because he puts him back towards the right side of the stage and he's got him in the corner here. Nico, what's going to be his play as he lands down with Jump Art? 
it was interesting there that he went for the falling up airs into more up airs to the up B. Usually Master Mario, when I see him play, he likes to go for those fair mix-ups after the air dodge or mm -hmm. no air dodge. But it looks like maybe it's one of those things where he's respecting Nico, knowing that, okay, you're probably going to get the right option, so let me go ahead and get the guaranteed damage instead. And we can see it, right, when you talked about it earlier, the spacing that he gets right with all the sword. One of the things that Shulk is able to do is control the mid-range and also do pretty decent close range. So that's one of the things that Shulk is able to excel. Tries to use the up tilt. It's kind of one of the classic Nico moves, but yet again, here comes the Smash Art right, being a double-edged sword, taking him out a little bit earlier. Forward Smash right in the wall from Asamaro, feeling the pressure right there. Didn't want to be too close to the ledge, trying to avoid getting killed early. I'm sorry, trying to avoid getting killed in general. Yep. Ooh, I like that. That time around, instead of going for falling back air, went for falling up air. It was to get a second one out. Got 45% damage, even with the shield art. So like, I guess you just got to memorize some different combos once they actually start going into shield art. Yeah. Get a different mix-up instead. Must be easier with Mario because his stuff flows into each other very well. But you know what's also flowing well? These up airs into the up B takes out that stock. Master Mario bringing it back around here yeah. on game two. And you can really tell, right? He was looking for the platform extensions of that situation, right? Gets the percent that he's looking for, and then immediately takes him up to the skies, finishes up with an upbeat. Usually, it tends to be a little bit of a, what I like to call a booty tickler. You usually, just go ahead. You see the sparks, you don't see anything else. The player is still alive, right? But then that's the one situation where I've seen very rarely it actually gets the kill. And I wanted to know if probably could have been to the property that sh uh, Speed R was at. That's the last Milano that Nico was in, so could have played some uh, difficulty for him. Of course, it does reduce the jump height that Shulk is, so it might have been one of the properties for him to be keep on falling to those up airs. Mm -hmm. Here we go, another up throw combo. Oh, that time around, actually, just didn't have enough um, properties or I enough frames on hit, so he was able to jump out of there just fine. And we got another potential combo. He doesn't have the shield available. Trying to catch a DI in or jump in or something, but Master Mario doesn't quite find it. All right, more of those back guys there. Unfortunately, unsafe spacing. And Massimar just trying to stay close to his opponent. Giving Nico the space here will not be really good for him. Oof. Right, full of cross up here. A little play from Massimar. <laughs> just trying to make sure he's mixing it up. Yep. Especially with all the cross up nares, down airs. We really right, see Massimar fishing for it here. I, one thing we're not seeing here is the fireball play. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can see it just because that neutral air, it lasts for so long and fireballs will interact with hitboxes. So it makes it kind of difficult for uh, to actually approach when Shulk can easily just uh, take it away with a hitbox like his landing there or fair. But we'll have to see. Goes for the back throw, puts him off stage one more time. Oops. Went deep for it and that actually worked out for him. Yeah, Master Mar with no commitment to be made. If you went, if you tried to go for an up B, he was definitely going to get out of the way. It all came down to if you wanted an air dodge and he would have risked a lot because the end line you get from it, might have been able to survive one situation with the upbeat back on the stage. I'm not going to be able to do Master Mar with the back end of relentless pressure in the skies. All right, just practicing his um, movement tech as we get back into our next stock here. Gets a landing there. Not able to get anything else, though. Master Mar with a big opportunity. I'm really seeing Nico just trying to go ahead and control the mid-range. I do like the fact that he's spacing out these back airs just a little bit more. Something he wasn't able to do last game. Switching into this shield art. Kind of might have been a misplay here. Fumbles. I do like the fact that he's looking for the percents. Brings it to the back throw. Gets the situation here at the ledge, right? We are used to seeing empty hops, full hops. At that situation. And Nico using this jump throw. I like the fact no struggle there. Immediately just understands, hey, I'm going to let the water box do its work. I'm still on the stage. Nothing to worry about. I like how we went for that one run-up grab there. He was going for uh, landing back airs for mm -hmm. most of the time, forcing Master Mario to go in shield, conditioning him, try to go in shield a bit more, just like that. He found the grab at the right time, and I feel like he's making him think second guess himself but he's not quite going into uh, different options he's still keeping on his shield Nico's trying to find those mix-ups but there we go finally gets to jump out of there and then he's able to land the back air like he needed to and you can definitely see Nico going to the other side of the stage trying to win Master Mario because he knows what he's hungry for is the stock that he just lost right he definitely wants to keep it even here Nico with more aerials here but that back air not space like it usually is Master Mario gets the grab in return sometimes with uh, Nico in general, there's kind of a tempo of how he uses his aerials, you know, du double nair into landing back air. Master Mario's kind of figuring out how his tempo is going, so he's going to have to mix it up, maybe throw in one more nair or something, cross up his shield, do something because Master Mario was able to figure it out and just keep up his defense, keep his cool during that whole phase. Oh, Master Mario with the back air and Z Fly showing himself a little bit there just to give us uh, some, some sense of hype going on here because Master Mario is trying to even it up. Catches Nico on the pattern, as you mentioned earlier. He feels like a Mega Man boss. See the pattern? 
find the punishment here. Master Mario finally with the objective here. Gets the backer into the grab. Solid play here. Gets the ladder up, up from the platform extension. Is that the stock? And it is, and Nico's still able to survive. I think that was like two or three percent away from death. Unfortunate too, because he had that bigger opportunity to bring it back around into a 2-1 lead, but now he's stuck at the ledge. Let's see how he gets around Smash Art. He's gonna be able to do it just fine with a double jump, and I like that, just move, mix it up with the directional air dodge at the very end to get away from that down tilt. He's been catching him on the landing with that, but that time mix it up, but no jump, and just to finish it off, catch, no drift. Nico barely takes that. They don't yeah. even look, they barely looked at each other <laughs> after that game. It's like, we'll go back, and then Nico's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what they say, right? We're friends out of bracket, but in the bracket, you are my biggest enemy, man. Nico definitely wants to be in the money. I mean, this is the last MSM you can participate in for the PR season. The PR season wraps itself up this weekend. So we'll see uh, where Nico wants to fall. I mean, typically be a lot of uh, consensus is that Nico could be within the top three range for sure, alongside Void and possibly Iron Hip and Eon. Uh, but we'll see how things play out. Definitely gonna see how Nico plays this out here. This next game, Nico up 2-1 against Masamaru. Definitely landing that downer. I do like the play here. Trying to mix it up around uh, Masamaru. You mentioned it earlier, right? All those aerials he likes to use and finds a different pattern. Definitely trying to find a different two with that downer. A second attempt here, Masamaru able to shield it and then try to go for a punish here, but he takes punishment himself instead. That guard situation for Nico, and I do like the fact he tries to fake out a Trump here, forcing Masamaru back on the stage and tries to go for another forward. And Nico making a lot of plays differently here in game four. Oh, landing fair, interesting. Catches the spot dodge though, able to take him, carry him across all the way through the stage. So Master Mario using that cape to delay his recovery a bit, just to make sure Air Slash doesn't cover the space he's trying to recover from. You've seen that grab, Tomahawk grab, pretty crucial for Nico there, but Master Mario finds the opportunity from that missed Tomahawk grab just to lead in. This situation, Nico's got to do well done homework here, man. He's got the percent here, but can he get the kill here? That forward throw, not going to kill, but still gives Nico the ledge to work with. Yeah, I'm trying to go in with a full hop there, but that's one of those things where Nico's range is going to be able to beat him out yeah. most of the time. So he tried to get, play a guess there, maybe see if he was going to just stand there at the ledge. Because it's a quick option, I don't uh, I don't discredit him for going for that. It was just one of those wrong situations. Yeah, playing it wrong there. And Master Mario just trying to play it right at this situation. Takes a lot of those aerials. At this point, he's putting back himself to the ledge here. Gets the downer. That'll finally not going to do it, actually. Nico is in jump art. You are able to take more damage as equivalent to the bus char, but you will not take more knockback. Okay. There we go. Goes for a nair. Oh, tech chase situation. That's really big for Nico. Keeping up this lead. And be able to get the air slash. Finish it off off the top. 3-1 Stockley for Nico. Master Mario pretty much feeling the heat, but yet again, we talked about those mix-ups here. That's one mix-up that's not working. Master Mario with the direct punishment there for going for the downer a third time. Third time will be the charge for him at this point. Yep. I can see why he's going for it. The dare is able to cross up uh, or catch cross ups mm -hmm. from his, your opponent, so you can try and catch them on both sides. Didn't quite work out there. He's able to get the anti air, close it out. But yep. still. And when you're able to catch your opponent's cross ups, they start going for it last. They start getting conditioned and not even try to make those plays. And immediately, Nico with the DP out of there, using that up B out of shield. Pretty solid option there, especially on the stage. You're not going to take too much punishment if he's able to connect the hit. Well, I like that. The space is away, drifts away, knowing that he's, keep, he's keeping his opponent in shield. That makes him he stops moving and he stops trying to go in. Because Master Mario's been doing a good job of just keeping up pressure and keeping him in close quarter combat, able to out frame data Shulk in certain situations. It's just that Nico's so good at reversaling, so then he's able to take up, attack on the damage against his opponent even better. It's one of those uh, tricky things where how you're supposed to play and how your opponent can play around it just works out so well against each other. Yeah, at this point, Masamara definitely playing around Nico at this situation here at the ledge. Using those floods, not trying to hold, play all the cards in play. Nico lands, but he's swinging the sword a little bit too hard here as Masamara keeps his feet planted a little close center to the stage. Nico finally with that backer. Tries to see the commitment here from Masamara, but comes back to the stage. I like it. Doesn't see anything, comes back, but he misses the second hit up. Okay, there it is. I'm sorry, air slash. Yep. Didn't quite get the kill that time around, but we'll have to see. Oh, goes in with the Ooh. dash attack. Interesting option for Master Mario. That's gonna cost him, actually. <laughs> Nico able to cost up around him, get that forward tilt out. Yeah, and in that situation, uh, Nico kind of just kind of sense the fact that Master Mario went on at the ledge, right? He's able to get 